What's up everybody, this is Chris here for the show really just uh, hitting the pad, hitting the HQ pad. I think one of the important things to warming up uh, before a show is, you know, two, two things. Not overdoing it and also not like just ripping right into it and, you know, just blowing yourself out before you go. I think the important thing to do here is just kind of isolate each hand. you know really work like on the bounce off the pad controlling it you know same thing left hand just nice and simple I may do that for like you know a good five to ten minutes just isolating each hand right now and keeping it consistent you know consistent height you know consistent sound same thing you know left hand just you know checking checking my hands you know making sure I'm trying to use like my fingers like you know a little bit of my wrist like everything just kind of flowing nicely, you know, and I'm just paying attention to my body, you know, and how that feels to me, you know, if everything's like, you know, really stiff and I'm cold, you know, that's, that's important, you know, if you're going to try and fly in there when you're like super cold and, you know, just rip this stuff off, like eventually, like that's just, you know, you're going to end up like hurting yourself, so, you know, keeping it loose and then eventually just gradually increasing the speed, you know, and then doing them together, it's the same thing. You can work all areas, you know, you can work like on your fingers, you can work on your wrist, you know, various grips, you know, playing French or German or like anywhere in between, all sorts of stuff. So that'll be like, you know, just singles, you know, singles on, you know, each hand, together, grips, keep them loose, not trying to go too fast, you know, we'll work up to that, you work up to the speed. And then from there, you know, it'll be just double strength. some kind of, you know, some kind of threshold level, you know, if that's where it is right now, I can't push beyond it, then I'm not going to push it, I'll hold it here for a little bit, and if I want to go quicker, okay, and there's certain mechanics that are, you know, involved with that, with your, your fingers and, and whatnot, but, you know, trying to just get everything involved, try to feel, you know, feel right, you know, after doing, you know, all this stuff together here, this may span maybe like a good 20, 25 minutes. And then from there, uh, I'll start just working on accents, you know, and those may be anything from like, you know, six stroke rolls, in inversions of six stroke rolls, like, you know, you know, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, 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 right you know, uh, you know, a, a different, you know, version of that would be right, left, right, right, uh, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, right. Again, same thing, I'm adding accents and now, you know, getting lower accents here, and striking, anticipating, you know, the accents with that, same thing, you know, I don't want to, like, really, like, you know, just totally lay into it, full arm, and, like, you know, blow it out, I want to just gradually work up to it, you know, so same thing with singles, triplets, whatever, whatnot, um, I have one, you know, particular exercise that I like to do with double strokes, uh, this help me, helps me kind of, you know, um, really get into feeling time, uh, and so what that entails is basically just playing doubles here, and then I'll make the accents like every three notes. So I'll go like, you know, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, let's see, what's it? One, two, three, 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 one, two. So basically what I'm doing is you have like, you know, certain accents where you have like the accent and then the tap and then the tap and then the accent, you know. So it's really, really good for working out, you know, if you want to do like, you know, pull out accents or whatever or whatnot, you know, there's certain things that you can do. Um, plus, beyond all that is, you know, developing your chops, um, you can kind of keep like, you know, time here with your feet, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you can start building like polyrhythmic vocabulary over it such like as, like a three or four type of thing. Same thing if you want to do like, you know, accents every five, like one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So it would be like, you know, right, right, left, uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five,
so on and so forth. So those are like some ideas that I'll like I'll work on, you know, just keeping loose, building up the speed, making sure like, you know, like I'm not pushing anything too much like at the beginning, working into it, and then, you know, working accents to kind of really, you know, get my control going and building my vocabulary on top of it. So those are some of my ideas. Okay. Uh, playing on this pad, and one thing I particularly like is, is the actual the feel the bounce back off the pad. Um, so for me, that's great. I have a lot to you know control in terms of how bouncy this is. You know what I mean? It's like a really lively surface. So you know, instead of having it flying all the way over here, I really need to control this. You know, there's a definite level of control to what I'm working with on the pad. And because given that this is, is smaller, um, really focusing focusing in here, like on the center of this pad, really getting up, you know, getting in here with it, you know, with the size of it. Um, so that's great. That you know, this is one thing where you know I really like you know focusing in on. It's like the same thing as like playing on a you know trying to keep right right in the center of there. So like when you get onto a bigger, you know, an actual 14 inch or 13 inch like drum head, you're gonna be like focused right in on the middle of it. So that's a great thing. That's a really great thing. And the, the other thing that's amazing about this, because it's so small, it's portable. It's really easy to bring it anywhere. Any of the bigger, you know, sizes are great too. You just put it in your lap and boom, you're like ready to go. You're playing. You know, this is great. Sitting here on a regular like coffee table, you know, and bam, instantly this is. Practice, so, so that's great. Yep. Um, so, yeah, man. I, you know, these things are genius, man. I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't have one. You know, I mean, every everybody that I know has has one of these things.